Hello my lovelies, it is time for another vlog, so stay tuned. So after a tumultuous time making it, we finally got onto our cruise ship, yay. <laughs> We are, uh, we got on the boat yesterday and today is our first full day at sea and I may give you a little bit of a tour of the boat at some point, I don't know, but I'm super excited. We've got fun things to do on the boat today. We got th fun things to do on the, off the boat tomorrow because we'll be at our first stop. I think it's, uh, Ketchikan is where we're stopping first. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to go to a lumberjack show and competition but first off today uh marty and i are going to go look at some future cruises and then we are going to or i'm going to go and get some pampering in the spa i have like a massage and stuff and then i'm going to meet marty's mom she's getting a mani pedi i'm gonna get a pedi and we're gonna hang out a little bit and then there's a slot tournament after that and then some lunch and then we're gonna get some bingo cards and maybe play some miniature golf i don't know it'll be fun we're gonna have a fun day so let's go and have some fun Good morning, my lovelies. We had a, such a fun day yesterday. I didn't really have the opportunity too much to take too many clips because, uh, well, we were doing things or th or there were things that you couldn't have your camera out at. Like, uh, I participated in the slot tournament and you can't be filming that. And I also participate, or we watched this show and we can't film any of that. That was like the last little thing of the day. Uh, so, oh, that was pretty much it other than the other stuff I told you about yesterday. And uh, it was fine. It was a nice day at sea. And we went to bed kinda early. I think we went to bed around 11.30 last night because we were getting up really early this morning. We are in, and I'm not sure if I'm saying this correctly or not, Ketchikan, Alaska. It is our first stop and we are getting ready to get off the boat and kind of explore just a little before our excursion. Uh, our excursion is this lumberjack show and competition. Thought it would be fun. Thought it would be something that uh, Marty's dad would really enjoy. We were trying to think of things for everybody so uh, that's what we're doing today and gonna be looking for some souvenirs and that kind of stuff. So I will take you along. I am I am so excited. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Um, I don't know if I got a clip of it or not, but yesterday, like the entire day, the you couldn't see, like you could barely see the water outside because it was just fog all around. And I was like, oh my lord, this this is how you run into icebergs. <laughs> we don't want no Titanic event going on here. All right, well, I think everybody is ready to go now, so I am going to in this clip here and start exploring.
Go ahead. Kathy's gonna try escargot for the first time. Good morning, and when I say good morning, I mean it's stupid early. Um, it's not even 5 a.m. yet. Uh, I think it's like a quarter till. <laughs> uh, so this morning, we are going through the Tracy Arm Fjord. Um, I guess like glacier kind of thing. So we're going to go on deck or somewhere where we can uh, get a good view. My plan is to set up my camera on my tripod and try to do like a time lapse of us going past this because it's supposed to be like really, really pretty. Um, we'll probably go back to sleep after, <laughs> but we're it's supposed to be from like five to nine. We're going through the fjord. And then um, this afternoon we get to Juno, which we have a really cool excursion for that. So that's gonna be fun. <laughs> And, uh, oh, yesterday I got some beautiful, beautiful bling. <laughs> There's this pretty ring right here. See if I can get it to focus. So, these are blue diamonds. And then we got white diamonds too. But what's really, really cool about this is it this this piece here flips over and this is white diamonds on this side i've never seen a piece of jewelry like this and i just absolutely loved it plus this ring makes me think of alaska for one it was designed by the people that we bought it from and it was made here in alaska and to me the this blue makes me think of the water and then the white is the ice okay let's go see some pretty stuff
So we have made it to our next port, which is Juno, and we are waiting on a quite warm bus waiting uh, for us to go to our first excursion or our, our excursion for this trip. It's so hot on this bus. I'm sweating. We got another 15 minutes until they crank up the bus. But we are gonna we're gonna see a glacier. We're going to a salmon bake. We've got a lot of fun stuff going on, and Does I'm excited. I cannot wait to That's show you everything. That's one reason he said you got the 22, so it doesn't. Are y'all having fun? Good morning, my lovelies. Today is a day at sea, and I, as you might be able to tell, I'm out on the deck. Uh, I'm already sleeping right now, so I just figured I'd do this out here, though it might be a little noisy. I have the most amazing view right now, like these snowy mountains. It's just so freaking pretty. Everything here is just so freaking pretty. Uh, this morning we will be cruising past the Hubbard Glacier, so I figured I'd set up my camera out here again and do another time lapse. Uh, I might do try to do it a little slower time lapse than I did for the other one because I looked back and it was like super fast. So, uh, and it also the ship kind of bounces a little, so there's some bouncing in that. But let me just let me just show you the view I have right now. This is the view I'm looking at. Is that not freaking gorgeous? Okay, I'm gonna go set up my camera and uh, I'll talk to you later.
began to filter in a little bit more. Um, so these guys, the first one that you see, you see on our left, this is Spirit. Um, she, as you can see, has those leather uh, bands around her legs. Those are called dresses. What those do, those are a key indicator that these birds are glove trained. So what we do is we uh, use these as some sort of like education ambassador. So um, stage presentations, that kind of thing. Um, so they uh, luckily have the friend. You can tell she kind of looks at her feet a lot. She looks at the ground a lot. Her processing is a little bit delayed as well. So unfortunately, she's just not, uh, you know, she can't be released. Yeah. So she's going to be living here um, up okay. and uh, having a So a female will have a lot more uh, bars on their chest and head. We actually have a picture of a female over here. Also, the females tend to be quite a bit bigger. Um, in the raptor world, the females go after the heavier prey, the male goes after the faster. Also, the females are the primary incubators for the eggs, so having extra body mass produces more heat. On a good year, a snowy owl female can lay up to 11 eggs, um, which is why their population goes through what's called nipper. Hello my lovelies. It is formal night here on the boat. Uh, as you saw earlier, we had our last stop in Sitka, Alaska. <laughs> and uh, after we got back on the boat, we kind of took a nap and then got all dressed up and ready for a formal night this evening. So I thought I'd show off what everybody's wearing. Here's what Curtis is rocking tonight. Looking spiffy, my man. Kathy. You look amazing. Marty, very stylish. Xanner, the coolest as always. You dripping, my boy. And here's my outfit. <laughs> You're getting any 
was gone. <laughs> I didn't know what I could do. Oh, he's gone. I, can't. I was going to try to get him on video. Oh, he's there. Yes, he's over there. So yesterday was a day at sea and didn't end up vlogging very much. <laughs> I was hoping that uh, somebody might have caught some of the stuff I did on camera but I didn't think to ask them. Uh, but I did do this game called Yes or No. It was a lot of fun. I, I played it earlier in the cruise and I lost. Uh, I failed and Marty did actually get that one I think he filmed it with his camera on his phone but um, this one nobody filmed and I did win it and then uh, we played this really fun battle of the sexes and uh, the girls won that was fun but yeah other than that I'm not sure if I included this clip or not I probably did just because I thought it was really cool but the clip doesn't show a whole lot uh but i did see a sea lion i just by the time i got my camera he was kind of far and so i was having to zoom like way in and he couldn't see him but he like snatched a bird out of <laughs> like he grabbed this bird while he's flopping around um that was pretty neat uh today we got off the boat and we are now in our airbnb also i am sick <laughs> We've apparently passed this uh, nasty head cold around. Uh, don't worry, it is just a cold. We've actually tested for COVID just to make sure and uh, it's negative. <laughs> Thank goodness. Uh, but we have a couple of days here in Vancouver. Today is really just uh, a bit of a recovery day because I'm feeling terrible. I know Marty's dad is feeling kind of terrible. Xander's not the best. He's passed out over there. Marty's not great. Nobody, Nobody's really feeling 100% right now. <clears throat> so we went to the grocery store earlier and picked up some things and we're about to cook us some dinner. My battery's flashing. Sorry, my battery died. So uh, let's see, what was I saying? Oh yeah, as far as reading, I... I've been working on All the Rage by Courtney Summers a little here and there. I haven't read a huge amount. Um, I know I finished on the cruise Heartstopper Volume 3. I think it was on the cruise or right before the cruise. I can't remember. My brain is a muddled mess right now. I would read, but I, I just don't think I can focus on that because of this. And yeah, we're just gonna relax and try to recover a little bit today and hopefully we can go out and do something fun tomorrow. And uh, that will be in my next vlog. And I'll just go ahead and end this vlog here. I have no idea how long it is or how short it is. I have, I don't know. <laughs> but I hope that it was a lot of fun for you to watch and to come along and see all the beauty that was Alaska. It was absolutely breathtaking. We very much loved it the ship eh, it was okay i think carnival's better uh at least comparing that ship with the other ships of carnival we've been on but i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give me a big thumbs up if you'd like to see more videos like this click that subscribe button down below and until next time remember to always be completely you bye